Tim here. So, I logged on to YouTube today and uh, actually saw that the channel has grown a little bit. We're up to 98 subscribers and almost 200,000 views, which uh, is pretty impressive to me considering I haven't really uploaded a lot of new content. Um, a lot of the older videos are actually still getting new views, uh, which is pretty cool. And while the channel... Um, Hasn't really had much direction, really. It's kind of just been whatever I wanted to post. Uh, I've been putting, you know, some more thought into the kinds of things that I want to share with you guys. And, um, you know, just sort of stuff that I want to cover that might, uh, you know, broaden your technology knowledge and uh, as well as help me learn as well. Uh, so, you know, you might see some new content in the future. Uh probably related to you know building PCs and stuff because uh, earlier this week my little brother actually reached out to me wanting to uh, put together his first gaming PC which is really cool and it's uh, really exciting because over the years while he's kind of shown you know a little bit of interest uh, in the, the hardware and maintaining it um, he's mostly been a console gamer and you know just kind of dabbled in PC gaming over the years just kind of uh, you know played some of the games that I have but he's mostly gone back to you know the Xbox Xbox 360 uh, things of that nature but um, it's looking like instead of upgrading to the new generation you know the X bone or the PS4 uh, he's actually going to the PC, which is really cool. And I was kind of surprised that he wanted to put it together himself. Uh, so we did some research, kind of built him a system, and uh, we're hoping to kind of get a video of that, uh, you know, his first experience building the PC and, um, you know, how it all goes together and kind of proving that, you know, with just a little bit of research, uh, little bit of reading you can put together a good PC yourself and you don't really need to be super um, you know super techy or uh, or whatever to, to do it um, and you know it's really exciting uh, that you know he's wanting to get into all this and uh, you know uh, I think it'll be cool to share I think it'll kind of add some value to the channel hopefully uh, as well as you know be fun for him uh, the PC in question, while he's reusing the uh, mid-tower case and a uh, hard drive, um, we managed to put together a decent system uh, for less than 500. I think uh, at the end of the day, it came to like 461, and uh, we got him an AMD Athlon X4 860K, which is a you know CPU only. There's no integrated graphics. It's Four steamroller cores, um, I think at 3.7 gigs, <clears throat> sorry, gigahertz, and then um, paired it with the Asus FM2 Plus motherboard, 8 gigs of G Skill RAM, and OCZ Arc 100 SSD, and a um, NVIDIA GTX 750 Ti graphics card. Um, I believe that was from EVGA, and a Corsair CX600 power supply, which is kind of overkill, but it's going to leave a lot of room for upgrades. Because believe it or not, uh, the one thing that has survived like at least three or four, uh, you know, com like complete system overhauls has been my power supply. I'm still rocking a 650 watt Antec True Power Trio, and well, they really don't make them like they used to. <laughs> But, uh, because that thing is built like a tank, and, uh, it's, like, basically the only component that has, uh, survived, you know. Because, um, hmm, I think I built the PC in, like, the end of July in 2007, so, going on, uh, almost eight years now, which is kind of impressive. So, yeah, I might have to replace it soon. The PC is listening. <laughs> No, not really. Okay. But anyway. Um, um, <laughs> yeah, so, you know, leave them a lot of room for expansions and upgrades. And, uh, you know, well, 
probably not uh, faster parts down the road, probably, you know, since parts are getting more and more power efficient. Uh, so it's not really like it used to be where, you know, the next generation graphics card actually use more power. Uh, it's kind of looking like the opposite is true where the next gen graphics cards are going to use less power. But, oh, well, I, anyway, I digress. Um, I just wanted to share this little video with you guys. Um, so I felt like, uh, you know, recording one and just kind of wanted to share some thoughts with you on, uh, on the channel and where I wanted to go. Uh, I definitely want to add more content and, um, you know, just keep pushing forward on this and, uh, ugh, get rid of these allergies. But <laughs> if you guys have any comments or suggestions or, um, you know, on future content or just some tips for my little brother uh, with his first PC, feel free to share them in the comments below. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you guys later.